So if you're working on an older or even a newer machine, this is kind of what you're going to see as a layout. is a bunch of buttons on top, and this is just the control center, and it those buttons drive circuit boards inside the unit, which we're going to take a look at because right now I have no screen. Um, if you press one of the buttons, it will actually light up. Uh, the numbers would light up, and then you go to hit start, and it would go blank. My wife also said it gave an F uh, error code, which the F error code is typically um, pump not working or things like that. But I have a feeling that it is a cold solder joint. And I'm going to go into that and show you that here. And you can apply this not just to this unit, but so many units that are out there. Now, one thing you have to be careful of is that some of the units you're going to get um, are completely sealed. You can't even get into them. So you do have to replace them. But sometimes they're better than um, buying a new one. This un particular unit is laid out so well. I'm going to show you that right now. This is the top of the unit with two or four screws uh, taken off in the back and the lid slid back just slightly. You'll see that everything is laid out in here really well. The motherboard's easy to get to. The, the left board that you have there is the actual soap container and everything is easy to get to. I'm very, very impressed by this particular model. Now I want to show you the bottom and um, visually you can see everything on the board, uh, I mean on the washer that you really technically need to get to. You've got the motor in the back, you've got the front pump motor in the center, and above you see the bottom of the, the drum tank and it's got the heater and the sensor. And then on your far left you've got a tan box there. That is the main driver board that does power and, and some other things. And that typically doesn't look like it fails much. It's made pretty well. Um, doesn't have any relays per se on it. So I did open it up to take a look at it. But again, mark your wires and everything. Let's get on with it. And jump to part two.